Hi there, I'm Terry Van Oy. This is Math Class with Terry V. Welcome into my online classroom. This is a viewer challenge video. It's the third in this series, all about the angle of depression and angle of elevation. So, a little challenge for you, I hope. I'll give you a try. You got a calculator and a piece of paper. Let's take a look. For all three of these uh, word problems, make sure you draw yourself a little diagram, a right triangle, label the parts carefully, and you're going to use either a, a trig function, sine, cosine, or tangent, or the inverse sine, cosine, or tangent to solve. So pause the video and give them a try, and come on back, I'll show you how to do them. From the top of a lighthouse, 210 feet high. All right, if I label this 210 feet high, Notice that as I look at this as a right triangle, that's also this leg here. All right, we can kind of think of it as two separate right triangles that are the same. The angle of depression to a boat is 27 degrees. So looking down from the top of the lighthouse down to the boat, which is right here, I have a 27 degree angle, 27 degree angle of depression. Find the distance from the boat to the foot, sorry about that, foot of the lighthouse. Now that's actually this distance here, but if I keep this upper right triangle here, let's go ahead and call that X, that's the same. So this X is the same as that X. This 210 height of the lighthouse is the same as this leg 210. You can think of it either way. All right, so let's solve this. All right, if I look at this reference angle, 27 degrees, I notice that 210 right here is the opposite leg and the X is the adjacent leg. Opposite over adjacent, that's tangent. So tangent of 27 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Now a little trick I use is, normally we would cross multiply tangent of 27 degrees times X but basically, if they're on the diagonal, I can flip-flop them. In other words, I can think of this as x equals 210 degrees divided by tangent of 27 degrees. All right, so switch diagonally, and then all you have is a division problem to work on. So I find the tangent of 27 degrees in my calculator. I divide 210 by that and now I should get 412.15 feet. Number five. Richard is flying a kite. The kite string makes an angle of 57 degrees with the ground, so there's our angle right there. If Richard is standing 100 feet from the point on the ground directly below the kite, so this distance right here is 100 feet. Richard is here, and right below the kite is here. Find the length of the kite string. Ah, a little twist. We're actually going to be looking for the hypotenuse in this case, x. That will be the cosine function. The 100 is an adjacent leg. The x is the hypotenuse. Adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine function. All right, so cosine of 57 degrees equals 100 over x. Now, once again, just like number four, if I have a variable in the denominator here, let's go ahead and switch diagonally these two parts because we're cross multiplying and the result will be the same. In other words, x then becomes 100 divided by the cosine of 57 degrees. So on your calculator, figure out cosine of 57 degrees and then divide it into 100 and you'll get 183.61 feet. An airplane rises vertically 1,000 feet over a horizontal distance of one mile. So if my plane is over here on the right, and it, of course, diagonally gets up into the air, but at the end here, it's 1,000 feet in elevation, and it's one mile away from where it started, so that's 5,280 feet and we want to know the angle of elevation of the plane's path so that's this angle right here alright we're gonna go ahead and call that X 
So, what trig function is that? Well, from that reference angle, I have an adjacent leg here and an opposite leg here. So once again, that's the tangent function. So tangent of x equals opposite over adjacent. So 1,000 divided by 5,280 equals 0.18939 and so on. But go ahead and keep that in your calculator and we're going to find the inverse tangent of that amount. So I have the tangent key here available. Nope, it's got to be inverse or shift and do the inverse tangent function. There we go. 10.72, remember that's an angle degrees. Round it to 11 degrees. All right, once again, I appreciate all my viewers on this channel and with all my videos. Share this with others if you think it's good practice for someone, and I'm glad you watched. Take care.